Okay, today we're going to deal with a power steering pump that's given us issues on the 08 6.4. The original power steering pump went about 180,000 miles with no problems from Ford. I put one on there in 2014. We look back at the receipts, a A1 Cardone, and it went about nine years and about 14,000 miles or so before it failed. We were driving yesterday to get Grayson's driver's license test and the power steering quit and the brakes quit, of course. So we popped it off of there last night real quick and got a new one on there so he could pass his driver's test today and it worked just long enough. Come check it out real quick. This is a tip on your 6.4s if you're working on them. You know why they made 6.4 bumpers flat? So you could work on them. You know why they put this hole right here? To stand there while you're working on them. I'm just kidding. But this is a tip. If you put this tape here, you won't smash up your fins. And here we go. Let's dive in and take a look. You can get a power steering pump off of a 6.4 if there are no coolers. If the EGR is off. You can take a pipe like this and you can get it down in there and use this pipe as a cheater to help you get that tensioner off, especially on a dual alternator truck. That pipe right here will end up sitting right here to begin with. And by the time you pry it down, you can literally slide it down your ratchet and use this right here to hold the tensioner while you try to get the belt on there. One man deal. If you got two people, you really don't need that. We're gonna take this belt off and clean it in the ultrasonic because it's gonna get soaked. But look at this brand new O'Reilly's Master Pro power steering pump in there. You can still see the shiny sticker on it. Can you see it? It's shiny, it's new. It's leaking out of this top fitting there. You can see it wet in there. That top fitting, there you go. You can kind of see it. And right there, Grayson's pointing at it. That's nothing we touched. That's from Master Pro O'Reilly. I'm hoping we can just take the belt loose, take the power steering pump loose from the three bolts and tighten that and everything will be okay. But I get the feeling that we're going to go get another power steering pump from O'Reilly's. This just goes to show you that there's nothing but junk out there. I don't know why people don't have any pride in what they're building anymore. Some people do, some people don't. Otherwise, Anthony, that's a good-looking engine there. It's given us zero issues other than things that bolt on. Nothing to do with the long block you built me. The only question I have real quick before we get off this video is, do you think this is too much? Look at this. This is from yesterday. It didn't look like that. Today it looks like that. It's been a real rainy, cool day. I've never seen that much. We use absolutely zero coolant. It has not dropped one bit at all. We're not losing any out of the fuel cooler. So there's no coolant. I think it's just a moist day. Anyway, we're gonna get on to part two later when we get that out of there and see if it was actually fixable or not. Okay, we got this bad boy out of there. As you can see right here, They've either over-tightened it, missed an O-ring, or done something right around this area. I'm going to bust this thing open myself because I want to visually see what they've done. And if the O'Reilly's has a problem, they can just, literally, I'm going to lay this on the counter and they can have it back and they can have their $71 or whatever for it. And we'll move on to another brand. I'm not even sure I want to get another one and go through all the work that it takes to put it back on one of these trucks. Anybody who works on a 6.4 knows. So, I don't know. They'll, they'll surely give me another one because the O'Reilly is a good guy. He's a good manager. They're not a bad company. But whoever on the assembly line, here's your part number, inspected by who? Whoever this inspector is, failed. Okay. We'll go on to part three when we get the new one in there and see if everything works good. See ya. Okay, we're going to do a part four. There it is. There's the problem. Whoever's job, their one simple job failed they mashed it so tight and didn't have it centered that it just failed under there thanks and it had to be mike and grayson that got it
of course, on the day he's trying to get a driver's test. So again, I want to say, inspector number EL30349, you're fired. We'll show you video four when we get it back in. Okay, we finally got it finished. It did not go with an O'Reilly. We went and looked at it, and the threads look bad on the one they had in stock. So this is an OEM, or original equipment remanufacturer from Advance Auto. They had it in stock, $108 with a $29 core. It looks like it was done by the same company with a different logo on the sticker, but it's down in there, all dry. Dry, it works. Grayson says it steers better than it has in years, which is possible. So everything's back in there. Looks good. It can be done. Another tip is you can either get this belt tensioner down here from the top or the bottom. If you have two people, it makes it a lot easier to get a belt on one of these. So hope we don't have to do anything else. See ya.